There's a wonderful quote of Mother Teresa that I, I absolutely love. There are just some quotes that speak to the soul. She said, never place a period where God has placed a comma. And I have seen in 30 years of ministry, many times people go through a bad situation and they place a period. They say, well, that's it. Nothing can ever come good again into my life. That's it. I place a period on it. I decree a period on it. I'm going to make sure that that period stays in place uh, through my attitude towards the period. God never places a period. God places a comma. But it's up to us to keep moving through that comma to, to the best that is yet to be. In Philippians 2, verse 13, it states, It is God who is at work in you, both to will and to work for God's good pleasure. See, God is constantly at work. Well, with this weekend, let me tell you a story about just this. After his death in 1923, there was a widow that was responsible for his greatest success. His best-selling devotional book first saw print six years after this man's death in 1923. Now, the man's name was Oswald Chambers, and the book was the classic, My Utmost for His Highest. It's a classic that remains popular today. But that devotional gem would never have seen publication if it wasn't for Gertrude Hobbs Chambers, who compiled the book from meticulous notes that she had taken during her late husband's sermons and lectures. Many times, the greatest things that have ever been written have been through the work of compilers. They have put it together, and they have brought it to the light of day to people around the world. And Gertrude was one such person. She admitted that she was depressed when her husband passed away. And she thought during these times, part of her depression, all the work that he had gone to, all the, the life experience of trying to make other people's lives better, it was lost. But then she started to compile Many people have done this. Cora Fillmore with Charles Fillmore, the great author. And so many others have been the ones that have actually written the books that have brought it to the public for the betterment of humanity. In Jeremiah 29, verse 11, it says, I know what I am planning for you. I will give you hope and I will give you a good future. There is never a period in your life. Sometimes, to get across the comma, we need other people's help, and those people will be sent to us as God directs them. The story of Oswald Chambers teaches us that God can use us not just during our lifetimes, but God can continue to use us long after we're gone to our heavenly reward. We all want to make a difference. We all want to live on. Sometimes just a smile will live on in another person's memory as long as they live. I know kind words do. Praise does. So today... I ask you to trust God and get busy and leave a heritage that will outlive you and leave the rest after that to your heavenly God whose plans for your life are far greater than, than you can ever imagine. 
The widow once said of her late husband, Oswald Chambers, he would have never dreamed, he couldn't have envisioned. <laughs> Many times we can't. But when the mind of God comes through the human mind, great things can occur and will occur. God bless you.